everyone uh, this is going to be a little quick tip and hopefully this will save you a lot of time if you're working with characters uh, if you're working with characters a lot of times um, you'll have some trouble when you try to attach the character to the armature that controls it so um, here's a night elf character and you know she's got uh, quite a bit of detail on her so let's go ahead and uh, try and parent her to the armature uh, select the armature and make sure it's in object mode it won't work in the other modes so let's select the character and then shift select the armature and then control P to parent and we want the automatic weights okay okay so you see here it says bone heat waiting failed to find solution for more one or more one or more bones and so um, that can be a real trouble because real problem because if we go in and look uh, select our object we go to our object data you'll see it created the vertex groups but if we go and put our armature into pose mode so we can check the weighting select the object and go into weight paint you'll see when we select the different parts of the armature that none of the vertices were actually weighted to it so we have to do all of it manually and, and that's a real real hassle so let's look at some of the things that can cause that that bone heat uh, the automatic weighting to fail and how we can get around it so let's uh, select our character and uh, hit tab to go into edit mode and, and hit uh, A twice to select everything. Okay, so the first thing we can do is uh, if you have your toolbar open, T for toolbar, and go to your remove section, go to remove doubles, okay? If you have doubles, uh, it will say removed so many vertices, okay? And that means that two points that are sharing the same uh, space, kind of overlapping, that don't need to be there, It'll get all those for you, uh, remove those for you. Uh, the next is under normals, go and uh, hit recalculate. Okay, that'll make sure that all the faces of your mesh are pointing in the right directions. Okay, so we've done that. Okay, uh, the next thing we need to do, let me go in and delete all these vertex groups so that we can start fresh. As you can see, there's so many vertex groups, you wouldn't want to do all of this by hand the automatic weighting that blender does is, is really quite good and you'll have to clean it up but it's really a good starting point uh, okay so um, we've let's go ahead and, and go to reparent it um, you see we have the armature uh, modifier here I'll delete that the other thing that will cause your bone uh, automatic weighting to fail is if you have other modifiers in here for example we have here the subsurf modifier uh, so go ahead and delete that if for example you have the subsurf or the multi-resolution uh, you know I would delete those and you can always put the subsurf back on later after you've parented after you've gotten the, the bone weighting if you have a multi-res uh, applied you can go ahead and save out your multi-res data, data externally with the save multi-res external so you can delete these modifiers if you have the uh, mirror modifier like you were you know modeling the character and use the mirror modifier you should go ahead and apply it and then del you know delete that that modifier so um, if you get rid of those modifiers you'll find that oops let's go to object mode you'll find that when we try to reparent it this time exact same model just go ahead and control P automatic weights and you'll see that time we did not get the error message. So let's go in to pose mode here and then select our character, go to weight paint, and now you'll see, in fact, that everything has some weights set for it. So if you go to, for example, like the fingers and whatnot, you'll see that it does a really good job of making sure that things like fingers, for example, that it, it attaches the vertices, but it doesn't, um, you know, the vertex influence doesn't spill over into the other fingers and stuff. So, so uh, that will, will hopefully help you to remember, you know, how to. Obviously, you'll have to go in and you'll have to modify this. For example, you might want to go in and go in your weight and paint mode and add, and then you can start painting these so you can get better um, deformations and whatnot. You'll have to do some painting. There's no doubt about it. But having the uh, starting off point is very very useful so anyway um, you can just go ahead and paint this stuff to your heart's content but uh, anyway hopefully this uh, tutorial will help you out if you're dealing with characters